electric brewing requires you have some kind of a controller for your element in your kettles. And we're going to find out a little bit more about the new device from Blickman coming up after a word from our sponsor. Brand your brew with Sticker U. Sticker U's online design editor allows you to upload and design your own custom, professional grade craft brew labels in any shape, any size, and any quantity. Sticker U. Make what matters stick. We're here in the Blickman booth at NHC 2019 with none other than the man, the myth, the legend, John Blickman. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the new Brew Commander, John. Well, the Brew Commander is a, is a clean sheet design. Uh, we went away from the traditional PID controller. Uh, not that there's anything wrong with those. They're, these industrial PIDs, they're durable, rugged, reliable, you know, great precision, all that. What they are designed for, though, is to be able to be used in about any industrial application. But they have some limitations for home brewing. And some of the input, they're really meant for industrial control, so you generally have a process engineer set it up, and most times they don't get adjusted or changed very much. You know, so they're not really set up to be super user friendly. And they also lack a couple of fun features that we had hoped to put in. So that's how we came up uh, with kind of a clean sheet approach to uh, the brewing controller. We had our tower power controller that I'm sure you're familiar with, and um, it uses a PID. So we really have it uh, upgraded it, and we now call it the Brew Commander. Okay, so what are some of the features that the Brew Commander has that that traditional PID doesn't? The first obvious one is the touch screen. So instead of having you know, press the up arrow. And go through all the menus. And go through <laughs> all the menus, and, you, and then you hold it down so it goes faster, and then right before you're just about ready to let go of the damn thing, it goes into high speed mode and you blow past it. You right. know? That always happens. So we wanted something you know, that was just real intuitive and easy to use. With the touch screen, you just touch the, uh, uh, the set temperature, it pops up a, uh, a keypad, you type in the numbers, hit enter, and now you're ready to go. We also have the digital power control, uh, linear power control, built right into the screen, same thing. You just hit the power, keypad pops up, put in the power that you want. So you put in like, a, with a traditional PID, you're hitting the buttons going up through the percentages. With this, you just, if I want to dial in 85%, I'm pushing 85, hit set point, and... Absolutely, and, you're, and you don't have to hold the set and hold the button down to get into the screen <laughs> right, that right. lets you set right, the exactly. power. Yeah, yeah the, the manual and the automatic and all that stuff, trying to figure out where that is and all those things. Absolutely. So, but we took it further than just a, a repl an easier to use PID. Um, and we developed some unique uh, approaches to the control algorithm that we use that you really don't need to make any adjustments on the controller or do any auto tuning. Okay. Um, but we do give you some extra knobs to turn. Uh, one of the things that we wanted to be able to do is easy entry of mash steps if you want to do step mashing. So that's just part of a menu screen, real easy to step through them and put in your mash screens. You can so you just them. put in your, your steps, your temperatures that you want to step to, and then the system just takes over and does the work from there? Absolutely. So it's pretty much automated brewing. And uh, in addition to just the automated mash steps for step mashing, we also put in boil timers. So you're not having to have a laptop, a timer, and all this other stuff. It's, and that's why we call it the Brew Commander, because it, it pretty much com it commands the whole brew day. Okay. And then uh, I was reading some literature about it, and from what I understand, this is something that all you people that use the, like either the RIMS rocket or even a RIMS tube, uh, would be excited about. It, 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 there's always a danger when you're using those type of things. You got a small amount of wort in a small area, and you got a high power heating element, and there's a, always a possibility of some scorching there. And you guys did something a little bit unique with this that, that kind of helps alleviate that. What What is that? Well, this was when John was testing the Brew Commander and distracted with a million other things that I was working on. <laughs> and I shut the pump off and forgot to shut the power off. And I was like, ah. Crap. Nice crackling sound. Oh yeah, all that. It was great. <laughs> Actually, I was using a brew easy with it, so I just totally overshot my uh, uh, my mash temperature because I forgot to turn the heating element off. I got you. So it immediately clicked. That's going to be a new feature in the Brew Commander, and what we have is a thing called Rims Protect. Okay. So if you put Rims Protect on, if you kill the pump, it turns off the power automatically. Perfect. Perfect. You know, so it's some of those things you just really can't do with those PIDs. Right. We did things, uh, you know, it, for the rims as well. Uh, it takes time to ramp up 
uh, to your set point. And so uh, with the PID, you know, with some of the other uh, step programmers, you would have to calculate, okay, I ramp at this rate, and I've got this many degrees to go, so I need to do the math there, I, I need 17 more minutes that I had to add to my 45 minute rest that I want to do, and, and you have to figure all that out. With Brew Commander, you measure your ramp rate once, you enter that into your ramp rate, and the Brew Commander does all that for you. So you just have to put in your mass step rest. Yep. Awesome, so what else is there about, oh, um, what about, uh, I read that there's also a delayed start, is that correct? Yeah, we have a delayed start, so you can delay up to 99 hours. Uh, so it's, it's great if you want to uh, get your water heating, you know, you know for, so it's ready for you first thing in the morning or when you get home from work. And, uh, you know, so that's super convenient. And then, of course, the big question everybody always wants to know is, you know, is it Bluetooth or Wi-Fi connected? That's a great question, and that is something that we were really looking at, whether we wanted to uh, do Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And, uh, you know, as we were talking to different uh, retailers and customers, and, uh, and just, you know, our own brewing experience, we realized, you know, other than the remote start, you really kind of need to be there when you're brewing because you're going to be adding grain and you're going to be adding hops, you know, and, and uh, you know, different things like that. So we really realized that um, the Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth would be neat, but one of our main goals for this was to really bring the cost of this thing down uh, so that electric brewing became more affordable for people. Um, this unit was replaced by our tower power controller, and those retailed for $575. And we were able to lop $200 off the retail price with this product that has significantly more features in an even uh, more compact package and offered for $375. Yeah, so that I mean the price of admission into electric brewing in a 240 volt system just dropped drastically. It sure did. And one of the other neat uh, things that we did was make this modular. So you can um, add units to it, you can combine them together, you can wire them out the bottom, see if you want a wall mount. Um, you can add on later. So say you're just doing a, you know, a brew in a bag type setup today, and you want to do a two vessel system tomorrow, you just add another control unit on. And even at the, the price of a second unit, you're still cheaper than a lot of the, the systems out there that run that three vessel system. Yeah, you know, the, if, if you compare the price to the one, two, and three vessel systems, you know, even at the three vessel point, we're still significantly uh, less money with a lot more uh, features. For more great coverage at NHC, be sure to click that round short circuit of brewers icon down below. For another video we think you'll like, click or tap the screen right here or right here. This has been Brian for Short Circuit Brewers at NHC with the man, the myth, the legend, John Blickman. We'll see you on the next video. We'll see you.